Hi Steve, this is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Just doing a uh, quick video tour on our 2020 Toyota Hilux. The uh, workmate sitting here in front of you, only about 27,000 kilometers on there for 29,990 drive away. Uh, thanks again for your inquiry. I do understand, of course, you are down south. Uh, it's no stress at all. Like I said, we are incredibly lucky up here at Pacific Toyota, mate. We are the uh, largest pre owned yard for Toyota in Queensland and number two in Australia as well. So, a little hard to see, but we are literally jam packed here at the moment. I'm currently at 235 Mulgrave Road. Uh, we've got a glamour day here at the moment. You see our Toyota Lexus showrooms at the hill there, service apartments down the road. And like I said, lucky enough to have a uh, second location up at 77 Mulgrave Road as well. So, whole idea of this video, mate, is just to take through the whole car in as much detail as we can, all the service history and everything as well. So, it was locally owned, so full service history uh, in there too. Uh, and done by time, not just kilometres as well. So, absolutely exceptionally well looked after. Uh, I'm just going to try and be as picky as I possibly can going right across the front here. Uh, don't worry about that. That's just a little bit of dirt that's just coming off with my finger. But uh, looking very, very tidy across the front. A little tiny little stone chip just there. And then a couple just incredibly, very, very faint ones just along there as well. And the last one I could find was just a little one there too. And that, super tidy. Obviously down the uh, passenger side here as well. Just a little tiny push in the uh, in the plastic there. And a little one down there as well. But not too bad otherwise. Same thing just over the driver's side here. <laughs> I reckon that had nearly... Some of that I reckon had nearly come out. That's all stuff we can look at for you. It's uh, genuine. I also got the factory Toyota steel uh, wind rims on these guys, looking super tidy. Brand new tread on these guys too. And I just wanted to kick the wheels out so you can see through there too, through all the wishbones and everything there as well. Suspension, super tidy through the inside there too. And obviously no chips or cracks are in the windscreen there too. Uh, all our cars we of course guarantee no write-offs, no flood damage or anything like that as well. Uh, very clean down here. Again, we've had some awesome uh, rain the last couple of days so uh, we, of course, get these re-detailed before we send them down for you. Uh, looking very clean through the rest of this passenger side here, too. Same thing through the inside of that door card on the passenger side here. Just a tiny little mark just on the inside there, but not too bad. Yeah, the electric windows, of course, on both, um, both doors. Uh, the genuine Hilux mats there for you, too. And, of course, the cup holders in there. No holes or anything like that across the dash. Very tidy up through here. Through those seats, I'll just pop these forward for you as well. So you can see them behind there. Tools, jacks, everything's on in the back there too. Uh, like I said, so it was previously uh, owned by uh, locally here in Cairns. So I won't show you that first page because it does have their contact details still there. Uh, but like I said, so first service 2021 through us, Pacific Toyota, seven and a half thousand Ks. Next one, 2022, 13,000 through us. 2022 Pacific Toyota, 16,000. End of 22, 21,000. So not your gain as you can see. Till about 31,000 kilometers. So literally full Toyota service history in there. Super tidy across the back. So just across that rear window there as well, same thing. No chips, cracks, anything like that there too. Or across those gunnels as well. So a tiny little bit of wear, of course, through the tray, just on the headboard there. Just those common ones that you always get. And same thing through the inside here. Just show you through the rest of that tray as well. And the sideboard's got all your tie-down points, obviously, down underneath. Again, super well looked after. You've got a tiny little chip just down there and there, but nothing too bad. Stacks of tread left on there as well. Chassis and everything underneath there too. Fuel's obviously this side too. Been a little petrol in the 2.7 litre. Now you can see a spare tyre under there as well. Got a reverse camera tucked under there too. And finally just down that driver's side as well. Alright, so finally. We'll just jump inside real quick. So two keys, central locking on both of these guys and that one blank switch as well. So that obviously pops out there too, lets us... Very clean. Just 
jump inside. So you've got the uh, safety in these guys, you do have to have your foot on the clutch being the manual. So I'll just straighten these wheels up so you can see. So you can count on. See a little welcome menu down the middle there. 27,158 kilometers. Exceptionally low kilometers for the age. Uh, we get some, like I say, we're incredibly lucky with the cars that we do get up here. Uh, no engine lights, dash lights, or anything like that, of course, as well. Um, you're pretty familiar with these utes. Obviously, you hang around for uh, um, probably more than what we do, <laughs> we do but you've got um, obviously all your radio controls, uh, Bluetooth controls all up on the left hand side here. So, jump between the AM, FM, Bluetooth, all that sort of stuff from up there. Uh, wipers are all up on the left, headlights all up on the right. You've got an automatic setting for those guys there, too. So, they are light sensitive with these ones. So, you flick that on that one, uh, daytime, nighttime, underground car parks, all that sort of stuff. They'll turn on and off as they need to. Um, up on the actual obviously steering wheel here as well. So we've got the lane departure, or all your different uh, adaptive cruise control settings, and all your little um, different personalization ones through there as well. So there's little sub menus for what's playing on the radio, and the lane departure, all your little notifications, and all your personalized settings through there as well. All controlled from up here as well. So nice and easy while you're driving. The actual cruise control itself is down the back there too. Of course, your mirrors, central locking, and window controls are all down that side as well. Uh, bonnet release is just there for you. Uh, sorry, that's the fuel release. Bonnet release is just down there as well. So we'll pop that because I do want to show you under the bonnet before we finish up. Massive big touchscreen display here there too. So I've got a little reverse camera in the back there too. You can see that one behind us. Uh, we're just obviously on an angle here so it's pointing towards the sun. So we've got a little tiny bit of glare with that. Otherwise, huge big touchscreen display up here. So we've got the home button so which will bring us back to this every time. Uh, you can jump straight into the radio, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff through the middle there. Obviously, the uh, whatever's yep, average fuels and all that sort of thing. And of course, all your phone calls through there. Little menu button's gonna bring us up to this one. So again, we can jump into any of those little sub menus, uh, audio, phone calls, uh, adaptive, um, so Apple CarPlay, all that kind of stuff through that one as well, nice and easy. Aircon controls down the bottom, so fan speed, temperatures, obviously where you want them coming out of, of course, there too. USB, AUX down there, uh, your track control, plenty of uh, blank switches, so if you wanna put in light bars or any you know, accessory switches, any of that kind of stuff, you've got plenty of room to do so. A little accessory plug in the middle there too. And of course, your little five-speed gearbox, uh, the real handbrake there as well, and super well looked after car. Cup holders, plenty of room through here for all the um, everything else. I'll just jump out of here before we finish up. So solid handles there, of course, on uh, both the driver's side and the passenger side there as well. Nothing on that one, but we've got the sunny holders up there, and nothing on this side here too. But again, so airbags, curtain airbags right across the top, airbags in through the dash, you know, absolutely everywhere there for you too. So before we finish up, I just want to pop that bonnet and show you up under there. I'll leave that running. So your 2.7 litre, four cylinder petrol, incredibly quiet, and super well looked after. Literally full Toyota service history. Can't ask for better than that. Beautiful. So thank you again for your inquiry and can't wait to hear feedback. Sir.